Hello and welcome to the fourth Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Today I want to quickly cover operators in JavaScript. The link to this fiddle is in the description below. Please feel free to fork and follow along. For reference, I have this little HTML table to the right going over the various types of operators. Uh, they are the increment and decrement, logical not, multiplication, division, modulus, add, also known as concatenate and subtract, checks for equality, and or, and the various assignment operators. During the series, we'll be using most, if not all, of these operators at one point or another. We'll be using some today just to see how they work. I would also recommend that you look at the Mozilla Developer Network to see a more in-depth explanation as to what these uh, operators are and where they sh are normally used. W3Schools is also another great resource. Uh, in future tutorials, whenever I'm using these operators, I'll go over why I'm using these, when I should be using these, etc. On the left hand side here in the JavaScript square, I guess, I declared three variables. Don't worry about declaring variables for now. I'll be going over variables and types in the next tutorial. The three variables are 5, 10, and 100. And I have assigned the values 5, 10, and 100, respectively. So I have most of my code here commented out. So if I uncomment it to console log 100, it should output 100. Because I assigned the value of 100, 100 to the variable 100. Now let's look at line 8, which says 100 times equals 5. Uh, what this is doing is it's doing 100 equals to 100 times 5. So it's changing the value of 100 by multiplying the old value of 100 times 5, which so should be 100 times 5. And the new value of 100 should be 500. There you go. So 100 is from the beginning, is from line 6, and line 9 is 500. If instead of using multiplication, I used addition, it, my answer would have been 105. If I used subtraction, it would have been minus 95. If I used division, it would have been, well, can't do a division in my head right now, but anyway, you get the point. Now the value of 100 has changed. Although it's declared 100 here, it's only 100 once. Next time I run it, it's 500. Let's look at the increment value. So we're doing console log plus plus 5. So the increment and the decrement values can go either before or after a variable. It does make a difference. If you put it before, it increments that number, that value, by 1 before it outputs it. If you put it after, it increments or decrements after you output it. So let's take a look at this example which I'm doing console log plus plus 5. If I run it, so 100, 500 is the first two, and then the next value is 6. So the value of the word 5, the variable 5 is 5, but it's outputting 6 is because I incremented this 5 by 1, and then I outputted it. Here on line 15, I'm doing console log 10 minus minus. I am decrementing the value 10 after outputting it into the console. So the value should output 10 if I run it. So 6 and 10. But the value of 10 has changed. It is now 9. So in this line, on line 17, the new value of 10 after, after it was decremented on line 15, if I run it. Let me just clear it up and run it one more time. This is the value of 10 now. This was the value before it was decremented, and this is the value after it's decremented. So we have changed the values of 100, 10, and 5. We'll do some multiplication now. What do you think the answer would be here? 5 times 10. It's not going to be 5 times 10. It will be 6 times 9, because the values of those variables has changed. Let's clear the console which is 54, right? You, If you expected it to be 50, you were wrong. And one last look at another operator called the... Uh, we're adding, but we're actually concatenating a value to a string. Uh, the string is the variable 5 equals to 5. So we're going to get 5 here. What do you think the answer is going to be? 
it's not going to be 5, it's going to be 6 because we incremented it on this line. Clear the console so we can see better. Run. The variable of 5 equals to 6. Well, there you go. I covered some of these operators today. Uh, we'll go over these operators uh, more in depth as the series goes on, as I use these operators throughout uh, the tutorial series. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of AND and OR when we're doing um, if statements and comparisons and other logics. Same for checks of equality. Uh, that's why I didn't go over them today. Uh, but please visit my website at easyprogramming.net to see more tutorials and stay tuned for more tutorials coming up. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching.